What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to name a decimal or read a decimal properly. And as you can see, I already wrote down a bunch of examples. So I'm thinking by the end of this, you're gonna be a pro at it. Now, first thing you need to make sure you understand is place value. So just to refresh your memory, I'll use this example right here in the middle of the screen. So here's your decimal point, right? So that means this place value right here to the left of it is the ones place. Now this first place value to the right of it right here is called the tenths place. This place value right here is called the hundredths place. And this third spot right here is called the thousandths place. And one other thing you need to know is whenever you see a decimal, the way you read the decimal is by saying the word and. So let's start with this first example at the top left so you can see how we apply all this. So 4.3. Now, the proper way of reading this decimal number would be 4 and 3 tenths. Okay, so 4 is just a 4. Remember, whenever we see a decimal point, we say and, and then we have a 3 right here. And what spot is this 3 in? And so again, if we go to the middle of the screen, remember, here's our decimal point. The first spot right next to it is called the tenths spot. So since this three is in the tenths spot, we simply call it three tenths. So again, you would read this as four and three tenths. Okay, and one other quick example. If we had 6.9, we would read this as six and nine tenths. Now, a little trick that would sometimes help me remember what to call these decimal numbers is I would just ignore the uh, whole number and the decimal right now and I would just say, okay, what number is this? This is just the number three, right? And what place value does it end in? It ends in the tenths. So three tenths. Or again, for 6.9, I would just ignore the six really quick and then I would just say, okay, what number is this? This is just the number nine. And what place value does it end in? Well, it ends in the tenths place value, right? So this would be nine tenths. So then I would know to read the number as six and nine tenths, okay? So with that in mind, let's jump to this next example. So 12.45. Now, the proper way of reading this would be 12 and 45 hundredths. Okay, and again, the way you can figure that out is, all right, just ignore the 12 and the decimal really quick. What number is this right here? Well, that's just the number 45. Okay, and what place value does it end in? Well, let's see, tenths, hundredths, and that's where it ends, okay? So it ends in the hundredths spot. So this I would read as 45 hundredths. So the whole number, again, together would be 12 and 45 hundredths. And I'll write that out real quick. Okay, let's jump down to the next one. So here I have 7.263. Now the proper way of reading this would be seven and, okay, now let's ignore that part real quick. What number do I have here? What number is this? This is the number 263. So 263 and what place value does it end in? Well, let's see. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. So I would read this as 263 thousandths, right? Because my number ends in the thousandths place right here. All right, great. Now let's jump to the next one up here at the top. So now we have 0 0.8. So the proper way of reading this would be 0 and, and then I'll just Again, ignore that for a second. What number is this? This is the number eight, okay? And what place value does it end in? Well, this is simply the tenths place, right? So I would read that as eight tenths, eight tenths. So I could read the whole number as zero and eight tenths, but the thing is whenever you have a zero in the ones place right here, so remember this right here, right? right here, this is the ones place, you actually don't read that number. 
because it's zero. It doesn't actually do anything for you. It doesn't add any value. So this number right here, 0 0.8, you would simply read it as 8 tenths. Now, with that in mind, let's go to this next example, and let me clean it up real quick. Okay, so now here we have 0 0.069. Now, the proper way of reading this would be 0 and, and then again, just ignore that for a second, what number do I have here? 0 0.069. So this number is simply just 69, right? The 6 and the 9. Now, what place value do these decimals end in? Well, let's see. This first zero is in the tenths place. The six is in the hundredths place. And the nine is in the thousandths place. So I would read this as 69 thousandths, right? Because it ends in the thousandths place. So let's write that down. Okay, and remember, I could read this as zero and 69 thousandths. But since I have a zero here in the ones place, right, this is the ones place, and it's not contributing anything, just like this last example, that means I don't actually have to read it, okay? So 0 0.069, you would simply read it as 69 thousandths. Okay, now let's go to the next one. So here we have a negative, right? So we have negative 8.7. Hmm. So how do you deal with the negative here? Well, nothing changes, okay? All the rules and things we've gone over in these other examples, all of those rules still apply. The only difference here is we would say negative at the very beginning. So for instance, if I just had 8.7, I would read this as eight and seven tenths, right? But since I do have the negative here, I would read this as negative eight and seven tenths. Okay, easy enough, right? So let's go to the Next example, up here in the top right, we have 5.0. How would we read this? Well, let's see, we have five and, and then what number do I have here? Well, it's just a zero, right? And what place value does it end in? Well, it ends in the tenths place, right? This is the tenths place. So this would be zero tenths. Okay, so you could read this as five and zero tenths, but the thing is, zero tenths is still just zero, right? That doesn't contribute anything to my number. So here, we really just have the number five. All right, so now let's go down to the next one. So here we have 5.200. Now, the proper way of reading this would be five and, and let's ignore that for a second, what number do I have here? Uh, well, I have the number 200, right? Which is true, but, and this is a big but, okay? <laughs> big but. Okay, so something that's really important to understand here is that these zeros right here are referred to as trailing zeros. Okay, and what is a trailing zero? Trailing zeros are just when you have a bunch of zeros at the end of your number, okay? So if you have... So for example, we have 5.200, right? So these zeros are trailing zeros. If we had 5.200000, right? I could have a million zeros. They would all be considered trailing zeros, okay? Now, what is the importance of that? Well, whenever you have trailing zeros, you can ignore them because they don't add or change the value of your number. But what if I had 5.200000001. Okay, well in this case, these would not be considered trailing zeros. Why? Well, because not all of your numbers are zero, right? You have a one right there. So that is completely different if you just have a bunch of zeros, okay? So if all of these are zeros, they're all considered trailing zeros. But if you just have a bunch of zeros, but then you have an actual number, right? Like a one or two, whatever, then those are not considered trailing zeros. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go back to this problem. Okay, so here we're gonna have basically two answers, but one is gonna be more correct than the other. So the first answer we can come up with is, okay, we could read this as five and, and then what number is this? 200, right? And what place value does it end in? Well, let's see, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So you could read this as five and, 
two hundred thousands. Okay, that would be the first answer you could come up with. But like I said, if we have trailing zeros, the more proper way of doing it would just be getting rid of these trailing zeros. Okay, so here I really just have five point two, right? Because I got rid of the trailing zeros. So how would you read this number? Well, this would simply be five and two tenths. All right, now let's do the last example. So here we have 0 0.030. Okay, so do we have any trailing zeros here? Yes, we have one trailing zero right there, okay? So that means we can just ignore it. Just like we ignored this one and this one and even in this top example up here we ignored this one right now is this zero right here a trailing zero no because as you can see it's followed by another number right here three okay so the way i would read this number would simply be zero and and then we'll ignore that for a second what number do i have right here zero three is just the number three and what place value does it end in? Well, this is tenths, this is hundredths, so this would be three hundredths. Okay, so I'd write that out. And remember, I could read this as zero and three hundredths, but since I have a zero right here in the ones place, it doesn't contribute anything. So this whole number, I would simply read it as three hundredths. All right, guys, so those are your basic rules to reading decimal numbers. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And if you still have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a whole decimal playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely go check those out, and I'll see you there.